Dr. Doug Needham. We're here in your Tahoma 31 Bermuda grass yard. Little shady side of the yard over here, right? That's right. Probably so, a east northeast okay. direction. So this area here, it's right now. Uh, we're kind of in the in the mid morning here. It's pretty shady here, mm -hmm. but the Tahoma looks okay. So tell us what's what's going on here. Absolutely. So you're right. It's a very dappled light at this point, and while it's um, not as dense as it is out in the full sun there's still excellent coverage. And I think that's primarily because here in a matter of maybe an hour or so, yeah. the sun then is going to hit an opening yeah. in the tree canopy. And this then gets bathed in a couple hours of, of good intense sunlight. Right. So that's so important for any Bermuda grass. It needs sunlight during the day. So it is a growing plant. What happens, <laughs> what happens when uh, it doesn't get as much sunlight as you would like? Yeah, so I mean, interestingly, right at this particular time of day, we're seeing quite a bit of sunlight up here against the, the house, but it's for such a brief moment. Yeah. It, you know, it may be lighted for 20 to 30 minutes, and that's it in the day. And the rest of the day, it is totally shaded. So sure. you can see it's just very, very thin, very little coverage here. So that's a challenge, not enough sunlight mm -hmm. in any Bermuda grass. It's going to be hard to, to get it to grow. Now you've, you've uh, sometimes you'll edge your yard, you'll maybe have a few uh, sprigs that get mm -hmm. into the landscape bed, mm -hmm. and you've just been kind of throwing them over here. What's been going on? That's right. So when we had this sodded, yeah. uh, it, it covered a certain amount of the area, yeah. but not everywhere. Yeah. And so out here in this area that had not been sodded, but I could see there was some nice dappled light. I just collected the little yeah. uh, clippings from out of the foundation bed where it had scampered in right. or maybe around the rock garden and literally just brought them out here and, and just put them in. There's not even any irrigation out here. No irrigation. And either. I think this is maybe a testament to <laughs> the other great characteristic of Tahoma 31 is it's yeah. very drought tolerant turf grass. Right. And so it's filling in nicely. So this is a Tahoma 31 is something you can use in the shade. But like you said, it needs to get some sun during the day. Mm -hmm. And if you're not, if you're in heavy, dense shade, it's going to be really thin, just like really any other Bermuda grass would right. do. So no, no magic here. Nope. <laughs> Still have to have uh, sunlight to, for grass to grow, right? That's right. But this is a beautiful area. Thanks for showing us today. Oh, you're most welcome. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.